Hello and welcome to your English news broadcast live on Air TV. It's exactly 10:30 p.m. on Air Trace local time from our headquarters at Asmara with your domestic and international news in brief. I'm Zahra Badouri, but first, these are your top and exclusive headlines for this broadcast. An announcement from the Ministry of Health. Annual meeting of nationals in Sweden. And on your international, CAR Prime Minister Faramin Nagarbada and Cabinet resign. Turkey's troops uh, should leave Afghanistan under 2020 deal, Taliban. Welcome to your domestic in brief. 82 patients uh, have been diagnosed positive for COVID-19 in uh, tests carried out today at quarantine centers in uh, the Northern Red Sea and Southern Red Sea regions. Out of these, uh, 76 patients are from quarantine centers in Asmara, Central Region. Three patients are from quarantine centers in Masawa, two, and Afabit, one, uh, Northern Red Sea Region. The last uh, three patients are from quarantine centers in Asab, Southern Red Sea Region. On the other hand, uh, 26 patients who have been receiving medical treatment in hospitals in the Central Region have recovered fully and have been discharged from these facilities. The total number of recovered patients to date has accordingly risen to 4,278, while the number of deaths still stands at 16. The total number of confirmed cases in the country to date has increased to 4,848. Ministry of Health, Asmara, 11th June, 2021. Eritrean community in Sweden conducted annual meeting in the city of Gothenburg on 5th June. The meeting in which over 18 nationals from various Swedish cities took part, elected new executive committee and adopted various resolutions and com- recommendations. Commanding uh, the strong unity and preservance the Eritrean community members demonstrated in the past uh, years, Mr. Biniam Mzgina, chairman of the Eritrean community in Sweden, called for strengthening organizational capacity and participation in the national development drives. Mr. Sirak Bahalbi, head of the Public and Community Affairs at the Eritrean Embassy in Sweden, on his part commanding the Eritrean community in Sweden for the overall participation in the national affairs, called for strengthening unity and participation in the national development program. In the same vein, Eritrean nationals from 22 German cities conducted virtual activity assessment meeting on 6, 6 June. Speaking at the occasion, uh, Mr. Johannes Woldu, charged the affairs at the Eritrean Embassy in Germany, called on the youth to play a leading role in the national building process with their knowledge and expertise. Mr. Kahsai Tawolde, head of public and community affairs on his part, gave briefings on the objective situation in the homeland and the region. Airtrain nationals residing in various countries contributed over $24,000, over €10,000 and 191600 Nakfa to Argument Maritiers Trust Fund and in support to the National Association of Airtrain War Disabled Veterans. According to reports, nationals in Norway, Sweden and Germany, the Netherlands, Italy, the UK, Switzerland, Australia, Canada, the US contributed $100,500 while the air train community members in uh, Feyberg, Germany, contributed 2,200 euros to argument the Maritiers Trust Fund. Similarly, the families of the late uh, Gabrahi Wathaila contributed 20,000 Nakfa in connection with 20th June Maritiers Day to argument the Maritiers Trust Fund. In related news, uh, the Gothenburg, uh, Stockholm and Oman, uh, Sweden, branches of the National Association of Air Train War Disabled Veterans contributed $14,100, the Frankfurt branch of the association €8,026, Eritrean community in uh, Verton, Canada, 70122 NACFA in support of the National Association of Eritrean War Disabled Veterans. 
As part of the effort, the Ministry of Education is exerting to ensure the sustainability of female students' school enrollment and uh, competence. Uh, the Mogolo Subzone Administration has encouraged 11 students that registered outstanding results. The female students are from uh, junior schools put in place in Arida, Kafranko, and Mongolo are administrative areas. The encouragement includes uh, stationery as well as other materials materials necessary for their lives and site bicycles for students from remote areas. Speaking at the event, Mr. Saleh Adam, head of the education in Mogolo subzone, underlining the significance of the encouragement, called on parts to encourage and send their female children to school and support them to continue until the higher education. Mr. Abraham Kidana, administrator of Mogolo subzone, on his part expressed conviction that the administration will extend capacity level contribution in the support and successful implementation of the program uh, the Ministry of Education charted out. Similarly, the administration of Awardat Subzone has encouraged 120 out outstanding students of junior education. Speaking at the event, Mr. Gabriel Mikhail Alazar, head of the education at the Subzone, stated that the objective of encouraging of the outstanding students was to motivate fellow students in emulate uh, the notable example and become competitive in their education. Up next with your international feed, do stay with us for more of your reports. And with your reports on the global line, the entire cabinet steps down in the latest political crisis to hit the country. But the president's spokesman says that the prime minister could be asked to lead the new administration. Furman Narugbada, prime minister of the Central African Republic, has resigned along with the entire cabinet the latest political crisis to hit the war-weary country. The development on Thursday came during a turbulent week after France announced it was suspending military operation with its former colony. Narugbada said on Twitter he had handed over his, his and the government government's resignation to President Faustine Archwada Tudra, but a presidential spokesman told the AFP news agency that the prime minister could be tapped to lead a refreshed administration. Albert uh, Yoki Mampe said that uh, they will know within a few hours if the president keeps the prime minister on a transition. Translation, I have, uh, in, in quotation, he says that I have just handed over my resignation and that of the government uh, to His Excellency, the President of the Republic, Faustine Archange uh, Todra. A former chief uh, of staff uh, to Todra's uh, Nar Nagrabada had been in post since early 2019 when he helped craft a February 2019 peace deal signed with rebel groups in Khartoum that now appears on the verge of collapse. The CAR has seen waves of deadly intercommanded fighting since 2013 uh, that have killed thousands of people and displaced many more. Violence uh, flared up again last year after the Constitutional Court rejected former President Fran Francois Bozizis' bid to run in December's presidential election. On your final report, Taliban spokesman tells Reuters that Turkey should withdraw troops as part of the deal with the U.S. for pullout for foreign, of foreign forces. Turkey should uh, withdraw its troops from Afghanistan under the 2020 deal for the pullout of foreign forces, a Taliban spokesman has said effectively rejecting Ankara's proposal to guard and run Kabul's airport after the United States-led NATO forces depart. The development raises serious uh, questions for the U.S., other countries, and international organizations with missions in Kabul about how to securely evacuate their personal form. Landlock Afghanistan should fight threaten the capital, as Reuters news agency reported on Thursday. However, it also appeared to dash Ankara's hopes of using the securing, the securing of Kabul airport to help improve ties with Washington, strained by Turkey's 
Ukraine's purchases of Russian defense system in talks set for Monday between President Joe Biden and Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan. Asked in uh, a text message whether the Taliban rejected Turkey's proposal to keep forces in Kabul to guard and run the international airport after other foreign troops leave, the Taliban spokesman in Doha responded that they should go as well. Sahel Shaheen uh, told Reuters that Turkey was not part, was part of NATO forces in the past 20 years, so as such, they should withdraw from Afghanistan on the basis of the agreement that is signed with the U.S. on the 29th of February 2020. Adding, uh, he says that otherwise Turkey is a great Islamic country, Afghanistan has had historical relations with it, and that they hope to have close and a good relationship with them as a new Islamic government and establishment in the country in its future. Further, Reuters says that the State Department and the Turkish Foreign Ministry did not immediately respond to request for comments. Dear viewers, that is all for now with your reports, but before we finish, to remind you with your major headlines for this broadcast. An announcement from the Ministry of Health as your primary domestic. Annual meeting of nationals in Sweden as well as financial support to Agumet Maritier's Trust Fund and encouraging to female students. And on your international, the CAR Prime Minister Fermin Nargobada and Cabinet resign. Turkey's troops uh, should have Afghanistan under 2020 deal with Taliban. That is all for now. Until we are back with some more news, stay and enjoy the rest of our programs. But until then, have a nice one.